This is the Shadow Gap story. So, shadow gapping, shadow gapping, no architraves, shadow gaps under the skirtings, shadow gaps everywhere on this job and um, I like the concept, I really do, um, it's something different. I've been using shadow gapping um, around certain pieces of furniture that I make, wardrobes and <coughs> excuse me, um, certain, certain parts of joinery that I do. But never done it on the, around the doors, on the skirtings and things like that. So. Um, I really like the concept and I'll quickly take you through the process, take a look and in the end let me know what you think. I'm by myself, me and the entire site. Anyway, today I'm going to work on this big massive frame. Let me show you. This bad boy, this old frame has to be installed here into this huge reveal with the 3 meter shadow gap. After the floor, uh, frame installation, I will then plaster the wall on both sides and use the end stop bits to create a sh shadow gap. So, yeah, I'll show you how to do this. Um, this is not the method I've used upstairs. Um, I've only done one frame, frame upstairs. I'll show you um, on, in another video how I do the other ones. Much easier. This one is because it's solid wall all the way around. Um, it's a lot harder to, to have that nice shadow gap. Before I could even think of installing the frame, I had to straighten the wall on both sides. The frame is as deep as the wall, with shadow gap around it, so the wall needs to be perfectly leveled. First I have installed plasterboards using drywall adhesive. The wall was 65mm out of plumb. Then I coated everything with bonding and mesh on both sides. After the frame installation, I will plaster the walls with multi-finish. It will all make sense once you see the entire video. In here, I am using clear varnish to protect the frame in later, inaccessible places. I am doing this to prevent moisture penetration into the wood. After that installation is complete, I will apply multiple coats to the visible surface. It's time to route out the 12mm holes for sinking the screws and drilling 7mm holes through the frame for the fixings. The 12mm holes will be plugged with oak pegs. It's much easier to do this now than when the frame is standing up vertically. I am using my plant saw to adjust the height of the frame. In this video, I will not go into details on how to install the frame and I will make a separate video on that very soon. This is all about creating the shadow gap. I drill 7mm holes through the frame and push the wall plugs in. I secure the frame with screws and wedges. 
After it's all adjusted, square and plumb, I release some expanding foam in between the frame and the wall. So the frame is installed now. Um, now I have to put the shadow gap in. And let me, I don't know guys, am I crazy or uh, I've searched the whole world for product that can potentially do the job. But there isn't such thing. And um, so you see this line. Now I'm gonna use a grinder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out this um, mortar about 15 millimeter deep, yeah? And basically, looking from the, let me show you, from a bird's eye view, if this is the frame, this is the frame, and the frame has the shadow gap grooving like this. So what I wanna do now is uh, put a plasterboard, piece of plasterboard here like this, with a, stop bit the one that goes over the over the edge of the plasterboard so be like this 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 is the stop bit and this is the plasterboard and then we'll have plaster be all in line and that will just create the shadow gap and i know this is all a lot of work break breaking this up now and you know to be able to put the plasterboard with that thing i could just put a stop bit here like that and then plaster it but then we're gonna have this hollow place, number one. Number two, the edge, this edge here wouldn't be finished. So for me to close this nicely, to just create that lovely shadow gap, I think that's the only way. Put a bit of plasterboard with the stop bit that goes over this edge nicely. Um, I don't know, this is just my own plan, my own design. Um, when I um, researched this, all over YouTube and Google and no one's presented this before so um, I don't know this is my if there is a builder on my channel that, or whoever whoever's got experience with this kind of stuff and, and never ever done it before please do let me know if there is an easier way or product that can just solve the issue um, of creating the shadow gaps around um, around doors I know there's a there's a there's a there's a trim for like shadow gap on a skirting um, or a skirting board, but it also 12 mil. Um, we have a three mil here, and um, I was even thinking to um, modify the product, um, get it like you know get it cut and trimmed, and but when I've drawn this all up and thought about all the possibilities, it was still better off doing the way I'm doing now um, in terms of time saving and. And, uh, and, and and the actual good finish I'm gonna get doing it this way. Anyway, um, I'm, I'm just gonna continue the way the way I've designed it originally, and I'll show you how it all came out. Hopefully, it'll be all right. I am cutting out a hundred millimeter strip all around the frame to create the space for the plasterboard installation. Let's pause here. As you see, the plasterboard has the stop bit installed already. Now it has to go into the space around the frame. I am using the drywall adhesive to install it. You need to use screen tape on the joints to prevent cracking.
next day. So everything is prepared for plastering. Let me show you. So I've set all the beads yesterday. So we've, got, we've created the shadow gap now around the door frame. Now I just have to plaster it. There's a little bit more preparation. Um, so I'm done on both sides. I'm going to uh, obviously masking tape the wood, I don't want any plaster landing on this. It's been a, a lucky couple of times, but it's not, not enough, the water will still get through. And the plaster is very acidic, so you can create black stains in the wood. So um, that's why I'm going to tape you off. And uh, that's my gear for today. So ready. By the way, I hate plastering. I've done it too, for too long. I've done it for about six years straight, just plastering, nothing else. And, and I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I'm good at it, but I don't like it anymore. But anyway, so, so little jobs like this, sometimes I just do it. Um, so yeah. <laughs> It's all done now, the plaster is drying. Let me show you. So we have no architrave. This is a solid oak frame, mitered. And it has a shadow gap instead of the architrave. Now you've seen the process. It's a lot of work, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of work, therefore it has to be charge adequately because um, it's very time consuming especially on the like solid wall this was a solid wall on the partition walls it's, um, it's a lot easier but um, on this one it was a bit harder and overall i really like the, the look of this it is definitely something i will be recommending my customers from now on so there will be a skirting as well only a very tiny 70 mil skirting so about up to here and the skirting will also have a shadow gap underneath it and it will just end here at the end of on, on the shadow gap yeah we've got um, the, rat, the rats are flooring here that's all finished with the brass trim and the oak, oak there you go the oak herringbone flooring will come and meet the terrazzo here Nice and warm here, under floor heating, lovely. <laughs> You're like lying down on this floor. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's that, that's the story of the shadow gap. There is a different method using, um, doing on a partition wall. Um, so I only have two solid walls with a shadow gap on this project. This one that I just showed you, and there's one more further down uh, in the living room. Rest of them is all on the partition walls and um, on the partitions, as I, as I already mentioned, is much easier. But I will do a really nice detailed video how I've done it and um, how to make the frame and, and, and so on. Yeah. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.